All right, hey everybody. My name is Madison Gibbs. I am a entomology student at Purdue University. Entomology is just a fancy word to say insect biology, which is just bugs. So I just teach bugs all day and work with bugs all day. And it's pretty cool if you like bugs, which I really love bugs. So it's a perfect job for me. So I'm just gonna teach you all some about the insect life cycle today and show you some bugs, some videos. We'll, we'll play on the computer a little bit. It'll be fun, so stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. All right, today on the agenda, I am going to just start off with this introduction activity, and then I'm gonna show you all a video, and then I'm gonna show you the life stages part of this activity, which that's the fun part, because that's all where I show you guys the bugs. And then, I'm gonna teach you guys some new words and then we're gonna do a very cool activity which could, you guys could probably use after this in your own households or houses or whatever. And then we're gonna wrap up this lecture today. Or lecture today, it's not a lecture. No, I say that. All right, so to start off first, I have a little introduction activity that I want you guys to do. So I'm just going to um, play this in the chat. Oops. Play this in the chat real quick. Post it and then, or you guys could scan the QR code, whatever you want to do. Just a few questions that I'm gonna ask you. All right, so if you guys just click on that link or you can look at this link right here called menti.com. And I just want you guys to type in and think and say, what do you guys think an insect is? I see someone said bug. What's a bug though? <laughs> I'm cutting out, okay. Brian. Am I cutting out now? Okay. All right, so someone said bug. All right, so someone said it sounds clear from his end. So you can either go to www.menti.com and use this code on the screen or the link I posted in the chat. Oh, I see some more. A short creature, but can only have legs. It doesn't have to have legs. I'm gonna show you that for example, but yes, they do have legs and bugs that have six legs and no backbone. Yeah, that's that's true too. Um, but another bug. <laughs> and then a creature that lays eggs. Yeah, they do, they do lay eggs. And we're gonna, I, I'm gonna wait for a few more, like maybe like one or two more, and then I can basically show you guys um, a cool video. Yeah, they do have three body parts, uh, head, thorax, and abdomen, that's correct. A creature with an exoskeleton and six legs. Yeah, butterflies, bees, and water bugs. Great, yeah. You guys are, you guys know what insects are basically. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit more though about what makes the insect have makes what makes it a bug what makes it a creature with an exoskeleton and six legs and everything else so we're gonna quit with that activity and go back to the powerpoint here guys so i'm gonna show you guys a quick little video it's i think it's like five minutes or less oh okay sorry all right five or six minutes long so We'll get started. Our topic for today is life cycle of a butterfly.
A butterfly lays eggs on the leaves of a plant. Eggs hatch, and young ones called larvae or caterpillars come out of the eggs. <coughs> the caterpillar first feeds on the eggshell from which it is born. It then starts feeding on the leaves and starts to grow. <laughs> the caterpillar sheds its skin several times so that it can grow. <laughs> Once the caterpillar is big enough, it stops eating. <laughs> It then forms a protective layer around itself. This stage is called chrysalis. In this stage, the caterpillar is now called pupa. The pupa remains motionless in the chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa undergoes a series of changes. After about 15 days, a beautiful adult butterfly emerges out of the chrysalis. When the butterfly comes out, its wings are small and wet. The butterfly pumps fluids into its wings to make them strong and to expand. After a few hours, the wings become strong enough and the butterfly is able to fly. These series of changes in the life cycle of a butterfly is called metamorphosis. <laughs> watching it again. <laughs> so, um, all right. So over here now is just a review of what the life stages are. I actually have my little worm, um, aka caterpillar on my hand right now that I'll show you guys up close in a second. But 
the first we start with an egg and then we start with the caterpillar which is a larva and then the chrysalis which is also known as the pupa or you guys also may call it a cocoon so it's known as that and then it becomes the adult butterfly or adult insect or whatever so um i am going to show you up close some um, these live insects yes I don't need the power. Oh. And we're going to the um the we, okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, so it's, we're gonna fix up the technical difficulties in a second, but I do not have any eggs right now because they all hatch. So this is a tobacco hornworm, or we just call them a hornworm caterpillar. And this is a little, not sure what gender it is yet. So I'm just gonna call it a little, a uh, wormy looking thing. So, so, cute. That, so this is the larva. He's actually about to, um, or he, sorry, it's actually about to pupate soon to become a um, cocoon or a chrysalis. But isn't this, so yeah, he's, a, it's alive. Um, I'm just going to call him he, I, he's not, I don't know what gender he is yet, or it is yet. So yeah, this is the hornworm. So you can tell it's green and bluish from this camera from here it actually looks blue or teal so this is the this is right, 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 this to show you and it's called a hornworm because if you look right at the end over here it's not here this is he actually has feet on it but um you can tell this is not its head this is its back but you can see the horn at the end over here. So that's, that's why it's called a hornworm. Yeah, it's chilling. <laughs> so, so I'm going to keep them out for now. But once it hatches, it becomes this guy. And then after that, it becomes a pupa. So I know in the video we had the. Anything else about this one? No, it's good. Um, so, in the, so this is a pupa. And I know that in the video, so this is guys the larvae, and this is the pupa. And so you can tell how much short, shorter it is. And it's kind of like in its chrysalis little form. It's not like hanging on anything. So what these guys actually do is they dig underground when they want to pupate. And see, it's moving. So isn't that weird? You think that a cocoon or a, a pupa would not move, but yeah, once I touch it, it'll kind of like shake around. It's like that's like its um, ability to let predators know that even though, yes, I am trying to turn into a butterfly, it is um, actually not completely dead. So it's not going to eat anything, obviously, um, for a few months or weeks, depending. I think it's a few weeks, like two or three weeks, it'll stay in this, this stage. But yeah, so it's a pupa. This is a pupa, and yes, it's warm. It's moving right there, as you can tell. They're so cool. So, because it's not that here's the one. Here's this guy again. He's like moving around, and look, he's. I like this guy because sometimes I can hang it upside down, and they just kind of stick on there like that. So, that's in the pond, I guess. Yeah. So, so when eventually, once it pupates into the adult butterfly, it'll become, yes, the adult butterfly. So this is what this guy eventually will turn into, this pretty thing. It's dead though, it's not alive. Yeah, we're trying to, there yeah, you go. Better, yeah. And that's its tongue sticking out right there. They're known to, they, they can pollinate some flowers, they're not really known as pollinators, um, but yeah, so they can 
take nectar and pollen out of certain plants. They're actually known for, hence the name tobacco hornworm. They probably will find them in the tobacco fields back in the day, but now you can, you can find them anywhere. We find them in cornfields. But yes, this is the adult stage right here. And unfortunately, none of my PC or <laughs> have metamorphosized into an adult yet. So I want to say hi. He's like, oh, oh what's, what's going on? I want to see this. Is that what I'm going to turn into? <laughs> yeah, you're going to turn into that, buddy. He's like, I can't wait. But yeah, so these guys have about two stages of larvae. So or three, they have about three larvae stages. So he's in his about third larval stage right now. So they, like the video shows, they just eat. They just eat and they um, they shed their skin until they become the pupae. And then once they become the pupae, they become a butterfly. In that case, it's actually a moth, but they, your these things upside down too. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> but um, I'll have him throughout my presentation. He's he's a very social guy, so he'll he'll come and say hi. This guy, on the other hand, I don't I don't think there's not much. I think it's a this is a male. I don't know if he's gonna do much over here. So, but if yeah, pretty cool. They look really beautiful. They're also known as hawk moths because. Of their size, you know, they're huge, like a hawk, like a bird. So, but the entomologists call them tobacco hornworms, or it's the common name for us. And yes, Pupi, he's not, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he's just gonna stay in the, in the ground or my makeshift ground. So this is what I did to raise him. I just kind of made it the ground by the little deli cup like this. And then I just put the, the towel, like a paper towel over it. And yeah, it, he thinks it's the ground. So, I mean, he knows, that. He knows it's not, but <laughs> he won't know when he, he's metamorphosed or yeah, he, met, he goes in that stage. So we're gonna move on the other end. He's gonna, I'm gonna call, what should we name him guys? I don't, I don't really know what to name him. Four names is what you think it should be in the chat. Yeah, what's what's, the name in the chat? What's, what should we name this guy or girl or caterpillar? Yes, he's, it's gonna be <laughs> a mean green machine. <laughs> so yeah, we we're, drop some names. I'm he's, it's gonna stick around the whole presentation. <laughs> should we change it back to that? Yeah. So that is USB. Yeah. Okay. Not yet. Well, oh, uh, poison horn. Yeah. Poison horn. It's not poisonous, though. Just eat the horn. Poison horn. Veggie. No, stop. I like that. Veggie. What a cute name. Veggie. Okay, good. Maddie, you have a question? Devin? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, so moths have a stage like the chrysalis. What are what yep. is that called? It's it's pupa. So what I showed you in this little cup, that's the pupa. So that's it's all the same for all insects. So that's, I mean, yeah, he's a moth because I can't get a butterfly right now. So I have a little dude here, but um, yeah, it's the same for um, all, all these bugs. So they all, believe it or not, a beetle actually has a cocoon stage too. So that's <laughs> I thought that was crazy when I first learned that. Um, what? Uh, never mind. Never mind. This isn't the whole conversation, this whole presentation. I wish it could be just 
this guy. I'm gonna look at the names right now. Why is the shape of the moth um, um, round? Is there an answer to that? Like, um, just the bottom right here? Yeah, um, so it's like a circle-ish oval. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure. I think that's like one of the characteristics that makes it moth different from a butterfly, obviously. It's more round and the abdomen thorax area is more round than that, but <laughs> it's just a round guy. It's still, still a butterfly, but moth. still pretty. Why do moths come out at night? They come out at night because they have, it's actually to do with their receptors. So if you saw the adult over here, which I wish I could show you closer, but I guess oh, hold it. Yeah. Um, the eyes and the, there's the um, antennae on the top. It makes it, so because of that, it, that's like one of the reasons why um, it needs to be at night because it's not relying on its vision as much as a butterfly. And if you look at the background of it too, it's much more darker, but you actually would typically see them at where there's light or there's not light. So like at when you have a lamp at night and you see like all those moths and flies flying by it, they're attracted to the light of that, but they actually like to kind of eat or hunt or mate. They cut, these ones mate. So they like have a lady partner look for ladies out around dusk. So when the sun's about to set or just about setting, that's the perfect time. They, or in the morning when it's the sun's about you to rise. You should go put a chair in my car real quick. So it's just what's, what's to do with their, um, the antennae and their eyes, what they're adapted for. Whereas the butterfly, is in the at, um the butterfly is in the day. Call them night butterflies, moths. Is there a certain type of flower that butterflies like? Um, no. I mean, butterflies as a whole, typically you would find them just. Any of the ones with the obvious, I, I wish I had a thought, but the ones with like petals and the thing in the center, I don't really, I'm not a plant person, so I can't really, I don't really know what plants are, looks like, but um, it's just the ones that bloom. Those are the flowers that they typically like are the ones that bloom. Obviously it varies with different butterflies, but um, typically flowers that bloom. So like not a corn, um, but this guy here, he loves to eat corn. So actually, they're actually known to eat corn and farmers don't like them because they eat all the corn and yeah, they want to kill these poor little guys, but they eat so much. Um, do they, how many legs do they have? Um, so right now he actually has three, four, six, eight, ten. Got him, got him, he's okay. You okay, buddy? Yeah, he's a little shocked. I just dropped him on my pants. But, um, this guy has um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, um, 14 right now, but he will actually only use six of them. So this, the, the moth here has six legs and he's, the ones that he's like grabbing on to my hand right now with is only six, it's the top part of it. Um, I don't really know why <laughs> they like lose function over time. I'm not quite sure about that part. Like the, we call it, it's a big word, physiology of the insect, but so. so yeah. um, why is um, a moth, uh, why do they call it a cocoon when they curl up, uh, but for caterpillars, they call it a chrysalis? I'm not sure. I mean, to us, I don't know why the common name is that. So that's what we call those names, or, um, cocoon, 
is the common name. And then uh, entomologists, we actually just call it the pupa stage. So typically, they all technically have a chrysalis and they all, yes, it is a caterpillar. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm not really sure why the names are that way. You might want to speak to a, a librarian who knows why people choose names like that. I, like I said, I just, I just like to play with the bugs all day. I don't know why they are some of them. Um, if that's it, I think we're gonna call him, someone suggested Veggie. I really liked that name. So we're gonna call him Veggie because that's gender neutral and that's, um, <laughs> And he's he, he'll make some appearances. So, oh, another. Oh, Dr. Knobloch said, while pupa can refer to this naked stage of the butterfly, the chrysalis can refer to the butterfly. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's funny. All right. So, we're actually going to continue on with the lesson. And, Veggie, let's name him cat, a caterpillar. Thanks, Google. Thank you, Google. Um, Share my screen again. And I would love to just to sit around all day. But yes, here's the review of the life cycle. And I showed you all those cool, I showed you veggie and the chrysalis or the pupa part. And here we go. All right. So I'm going to post this activity. So we're basically just going to go, it's, it's a jam board. So I don't know if you guys use jam, jam board for your class for classes before. You don't need a Google account for this. Um, if you're, you do, you, anyone could basically join in. So I'm going to post this link into the group chat. And then we are going to learn about some vocabulary for the, exactly why this guy is the way he is. So. Um, sorry. Oh, yeah. I was like, why is it not doing this? Okay. Ready. Goofy. Super clean. All right. So, you guys click on this link. We're going to go do a small little activity with um, Veggie. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? And Let me try to pull it up on my end. All right, we all are here. So I'm going to share the screen. All right, so we, oh, you guys are already doing it. All right, so basically, if you haven't worked um, Zoom, Zoom before or Jamboard before, yeah, you guys done it. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is basically, um, yeah, you're right, just put. Just either drag that you guys are doing it. All right, cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm like, I, just, I, I want to explain it. But yeah, you just drag the vocab here. And all right, so yeah, the first stage is an egg, yeah. And another insect is actually, I believe that's larva or caterpillar. So that's actually not correct, larva. I think it's this. And then caterpillar goes up here. Before an insect turns into a butterfly, it is known as. Ooh. Wait, no, just kidding. Caterpillar goes here. I was like, what am I doing? I've done. This. There we go. All right. So we know one for sure is correct, three is correct. Um, C4, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, it gets breaking its. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, five is correct. And then between the head and the abdomen is the thorax. That's good. Yep, larvae's there. And then you guys are missing abdomen. <laughs> there we go. We got it. And then I think this is actually 
keep that right here for four. But wow, that was really fast. You guys are so, you're so good at this. Good job. Go team and a veggie or whatever you want to name them. Go team. That wasn't me, guys, that helped you. That was Veggie. Veggie's on the, he's right over here on the mouse. So he's just like, <laughs> great. And so here's the answers in case um, you guys want to do it. But yeah, it's, you guys basically got it. <laughs> you guys are so smart. Um, yeah, good, go team. <laughs> All right, so I have one more activity for you guys. So it's a cool one. I this is what us entomologists do every year when we go out in the corn fields or soybean fields looking for little guys like these. So we're all gonna pretend we're entomologists for a second or just planting tomatoes in our garden this summer. So basically I, want we are we are going to plant tomatoes in our garden this summer which it's summertime he's like yay it's summer Ooh. he's okay he's okay <laughs> he was he just wanted to cheer that summer's coming he's like i'm ready to be a butterfly or a, a moth and so so we're going to plant tomatoes in the garden this summer basically and however when we plant tomatoes I'm clumsy. I mean, or maybe he's just a really good escape artist. So, um, yeah, and there are army worms. So that's what's on the page right there is that's an army worm. And so army worms are known to eat tomatoes um, if you do not plant them ahead. So we need to figure out basically like what should we do? So we know that these um <laughs> We know that these guys will eat our tomatoes if we don't do anything. So essentially, I'm gonna bring us to the activity. What time of the year do these army worms lay eggs? They become larvae. What time do they pupate? And then when do they become adults? So we're gonna do another Jamboard activity and this one's actually really cool. So I'm gonna share it in the chat again. Wait, why did I stop sharing? I don't know why. I'm gonna share it in the chat. We're gonna look at veggie in a moment. I know veggie's like, you need to hurry up. I know I need to hurry up. All right, I'm gonna share my screen again. All right, so. Ah, there we go, there's a jam board. I know, Veggie, hurry up, he's, All right, so I'm gonna explain this activity to you guys. So basically we want to figure out the when the, the, the yeah, during this time of year where um, the army worms are gonna lay their eggs, when they're going to become larvae, and then when they're gonna pupate, and then when they're gonna become adults. So there are multiple pictures in here. So we have multiple graphs, multiple pictures to figure out and where to place them. So what we're gonna do is take one of these pictures. I mean, yeah, there, I think there's three in here. Yes, or two. So there's two eggs. So we're just gonna drag them. I have it color coded. So like the blue means winter, the green means springtime, the yellow is, is summer, and then the red is the fall. So like, we're gonna drag what we think um, these army worms are going to lay their eggs. So I'm just gonna, for example, I'm just gonna say they lay their eggs in this time, even though that's probably not, it's too cold for them. So did you guys know, fun fact, that bugs do not die in the cold during the winter time. They either fly to the south, if you're in Indiana, so that's what these guys do. So they either fly 
to a warmer place like birds. They're kind of like birds. So they fly to the um, south or they become pupa and they bury themselves in the ground. So we're gonna um, assume one. So drag these pictures around and think, okay, I think they're going to lay their eggs um, around here, for example. And then I think they're going to pupate over here and then, or not pupate, I think they're gonna pupate over here. And then once they lay their eggs, I think they're gonna become it over here. So yeah, I just want you guys to drag around and think what time of the year do you think these army worms are going to um, have that? Actually, <laughs> it, it could be for the South, but I think it's a little too cold for um, them in Indiana to have fur in the winter here. So in Indiana, these guys will actually, including these guys, they will become pupae in the ground in the winter time. And that's called overwintering. That's why moth has fur. Yeah. <laughs> the veggies like, oh, I know this. That's why I'm out and about. So yeah, we have, I think, a few more. So I believe there are three moth pictures or adult picture stages. So far, army worms, that's the larvae stage is what they're known for. Um, and then there are like moths in the they grow up to become a moth. All right, super teamwork going on. I'm going to um, help out with these guys. So if we think the eggs are gonna be here, then probably they're gonna hatch over here. Then maybe the adult is going to, yeah, fly. There we go. They fly in from here. Yep. And then we have one more. What do you guys think they're going to do at the end of the summer for the adults? So maybe if they. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, nope, that guy. Yeah. He's not a winter guy. We're going to keep him over here. <laughs> I'm just listening what Veggie's telling me, guys. Veggie's whispering in my ear right now, and he's telling me, I think it's this. I think it's this, guys. So I'm, I'm not, I mean, I am an entomologist, but Veggie's the one with the answers, so. So maybe, maybe these guys like fly away too in the, I'm not scribbling. <laughs> Someone, Reggie, are you scribbling? And maybe, yeah, there we go. And maybe like, yeah, these guys probably fly over here. So I think we have a pretty good chart guys of what, this is pretty much the far, oh, you're talking to some kid. Oh, well, Reggie's a kid too, so maybe he's, I'm a kid too, so Veggie's probably talking to me. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys did pretty good. <laughs> um, so that's actually it for the Jamboard activity. I'm going to show you what they actually do in Indiana. So this is I found this on Purdue's website because, you know, got to sponsor Purdue when. Yeah. Oh, should I stop sharing? Like this one? Uh, yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. Wait, there we go. Okay, all right, guys, we're good. Reggie's like, finally. Um, wait, I don't see the chat. There we go. All right, yeah, Veggie, Veggie say hi. Veggie's, Veggie's waving. <laughs> 
So these are this is actually the life cycle stage for the army worm here in Indiana. So you guys pretty much got it right with Reggie helping us, of course. Um, so yeah, they basically, like I said, the all year round, they, the adults will either fly away during the winter, which is that's what they're doing here, or they are going to pupate and, or lay their eggs or the, their, yeah, so they're gonna dig themselves in the ground like I did with Gedge's brother here and um, try to like, so they will dig it themselves in the ground where it's not too cold because if you guys remember from your or science classes, as we get closer to the core of the earth, it's warmer. Therefore, these guys will dig themselves closer to the heat source or whatever. And um, so that's when they become a pup pupa. And then the adults will either fly, they will fly south or they're just not going to make it. <laughs> it's one or the other. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So when the, over the winter, these guys will come the south or will come back into um, in the springtime. So around like April and May, and then they're gonna start laying their eggs. And then once these guys lay their eggs, um, they, will hatch into larvae and so if you guys notice so in indiana we have a lot of corn I and mean, if you guys aren't from indiana or you guys don't live in indiana we have a lot of corn so we have so much corn so if you notice this larvae stage here from may to july that's when they eat the corn so that's what i'm saying for i come from indiana too okay me too but um so yeah, they will eat all the corn leaves from this time. So in our case, since we're farmers in our own garden, they will eat your tomatoes around this time. So you got to watch out for the larvae stage. And then they will pupate in like this when it gets hot sometimes, and then some of the eggs will hatch around this time. And then once they pupate, they become adults again, and they repeat the same process in the sun. Like, towards the end of the summer, so like August, basically, like middle to end. And then, yeah, and then they just repeat the cycle and then just go into either fly down south when it's winter or they will bury themselves in the ground. So pretty cool. I thought all bugs died in the, when I was uh, learning this, I thought all bugs died in the, um, in the winter, but they don't, they just, bury themselves in the ground or they fly down south like birds. Um, fun fact. And that is it. I have one more conclusion question, like, like to close us up, which Veggie's just like, don't go yet. We don't want to go. So, but it's almost time to go, unfortunately. I don't know if I did that right. So I'm gonna post it here. I think that's the right one. No veggie, no. Sorry. I know. The veggie's like, I don't want you guys to go. Not really. I look yellow in this in this. So in a second, I'll pull this one up. You, get, you guys get to see me behind the scenes. There we go. All right. So either go to this dot, like website over on the top of the screen or in the link that I posted. And I want you guys to if it's not showing up, let me know, but I think it works. So like, what did you guys learn today? Look it up on your phone or computer. Reggie is eating my arm. Yeah, that's a good job. We did learn about that. Guys, veggie is eating my arm, my hand. 
I guess I taste good. Or in that mossy butterflies. I guess I, yeah, they do do that. <laughs> she might not eat my flesh. She might just eat my skin cells. My my skin. While I'm um while veggies eating my hand, um, I think I'm gonna let this go in a few more times to see if anyone else learned anything cool. Did I learn about tobacco hornworms today, like veggie? Know that they're huge and they like to eat my hand. <laughs> they actually eat corn leaves. You can find them in the cornfield. If that's your thing. Not much besides the word pupa. Cool. Yeah, pupa. It's a cool word. All right. So I'm going to go to the next slide. So what'd you guys find cool? Well, you won't look like veggie. What'd you, what'd you find cool? Veggie's, veggie's a cool cat, a cool bug. He wants to try to fly right now. I don't think it's gonna happen for a while. Or that when the caterpillar's mother portrays it, so the caterpillar has, they do have to live on their own. And yeah, they do portray it when they lay the eggs. Like they literally, I know, savage. That's, it's so savage. Uh, he's been on his own for a while. Yeah, the pupas do bury themselves in the ground. And they're like, it's a cool, I think of um, naked mole rats. They just live underground and just they're okay with that their whole lives. So like they just become a worm or a naked mole rat of themselves. Ooh, like sharks. But on the bright side, he survived. He did. Um, did, you, did anyone else find a really something cool that they learned. You can either put it in the presentation or you can tell me. I know veggie's pretty cool. You did, yeah. All right, I'm gonna move on to the last one. And if do you guys have any questions, like shout them out or type them in here. I am, I will be here to see your questions. Or I guess I won't answer them. Veggie's going to answer them. He's just gonna whisper in my ear and tell me, hey, you should tell them this. I think see, cocoons are different. Yeah. Yes, hence, you guys know that silkworms are actually moths and they become moths. So, and the caterpillars, so they become moths too. Does veggie tickle? He does tickle, especially when he's trying to eat <laughs> my hands. <laughs> he's just hungry right now. He's in that, you know, he's, he's going through a phase where he's just eating all the time. That's what they kind of do. Just eat all the time, grow big and yeah, veggie does think, yes, yes, delicious hand. I'm gonna actually stop sharing the screen and maybe show you guys veggie more. You guys love veggie. Um, Um, so 
Pakistan for two months. <laughs> I mean, he's sticking around, so he must kind of like it. I don't know. He's 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 telling me he's like I don't like eating your hand. <laughs> Um, should I wrap this up? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, if you guys have any questions, <laughs> hungry and just wants to eat. <laughs> so, um, if you guys have any questions or you just want to see more veggie, <laughs> let me know. But I had a great time talking to you guys. It was very fun to, um, yeah, to, to, does Veggie ever escape from his home? He has not, but I swear I had, <laughs> I had a dream. I guess it was a nightmare a few, a few nights ago where all of him and his brothers escaped. <laughs> So they did not. So I actually, I can show you where I keep Veggie or his siblings. So Veggie's the biggest from them all. So if someone wants to know. So I keep them in this like little jelly cup here with some food on top. And these are Veggie's siblings. And they just, there's some air holes in the bottom and just little poop and just let them hang out here.